obviously the autumn games is it's a huge challenge for us. You know, we play four games in four weeks, all at home, Millennium Stadium, big Welsh crowd. Um, it doesn't get much better. It is a player. You know, you want to play against the best teams in the world, and, and certainly this autumn we are doing that. Um, it's a very tough campaign. If anything, it's it's tougher than the Six Nations because you play four weeks on the bounce. You don't, you don't have those rest weeks, and and the boys are, are fresh from a, a good pre-season and a good stint with their clubs as well. So it's a uh, it's a great prospect. You know, playing in these four games. It's been good the last 12 months. I think before um, the World Cup, a lot of people didn't even think we'd get out of our group, so there wasn't a lot of pressure on us then. Um, Six Nations still, we went into our first game against Ireland and people thought Ireland were favourites to win that. Or I think now um, the expectations there really for the squads, which I think we'll enjoy that to be honest. It's better, better to be in that position than to be an underdog. And um, we worked extremely hard over the last 12 months to become favourites um, and a better team and it's a much better position to be in. So. Um, a bit of expectation from the public, uh, you know, certainly for this autumn campaign. Uh, but the players are really looking forward to the challenge, and hopefully, um, you know, get four wins in the autumn. Don't have to make contact. Stand back, later. Uh, no, um, I enjoy the aerial uh, battle. Uh, you know, I just loved doing it as a kid, and uh, you know. I love playing at, at full back. Um, uh, yeah, you know, when they stick a, the, the ball in the air, I see it as a personal challenge between uh, myself and, and the chaser, and um, I enjoy, you know, that challenge and, and hopefully come in better off uh, every time that ball goes up in the air. Well, personally, I used to play full back. Uh, obviously, the position Lee plays in now, and uh, I was a Newport fan growing up for my sins. And uh, Percy Montgomery had just had just signed for uh, for Newport, so I used to grow up admiring uh, Percy Montgomery. He was he was my hero, you know, rugby hero growing up. My favourite memory was probably um, when we'd beaten Ireland in the quarter final in Wellington, and we were walking around um, the stadium there. That was an awesome. You could see all the, the Welsh fans still there waving their flags, Delilah was playing over the stadium and it was the realisation that we'd made the semi-final of the World Cup and um, that was probably one of my best um, rugby medals. Anyone else got anyone that particularly stands out? Or? I, think, I think the first cap for Wales is, is pretty special. Um, you know, when you're first, you're first involved with the, with the team, I think these guys would, could probably agree that that's, you know, that feeling is, is unparalleled really, it's, it's pretty special. <laughs> um, Lee, Lee looks like a boy band. Right? <laughs> um, I might answer this one. Go for it, Lee. I know what your song would be. The song you always put out. Oh, well, I, when my first song, the tradition is when you first cap, you got to a, sing a, a song to the squad. And uh, my song was Walking in Memphis by Bruce Springsteen. So, um, yeah, if I went on the X Factor, that would be my song, I think. No? Did it go down well? Yeah, I think everyone loved it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you Is that how you remember yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> what did you sing when you first cap? Oasis won the wall. I panicked, I had a mad panic, didn't know what to sing, and it was only one song which I knew all the lyrics to. But I'm not an Oasis fan. Um, if I had to sing something, it would probably involve now a drum set and a thrash metal song and rip my t shirt off, but I don't think it would go down too well the place. <laughs> Not with the girls either. Uh, <laughs> That's a lie. I would, <laughs> I would sing um, tough one probably as the so my first cap was sang um, King of the Road, Dean Martin. Cheese. Um, cheese. <laughs> yeah, no, I enjoyed that one. Enjoyed good song. Did that uh, go down well? All classes, yeah, went a fantastic deal there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Rambo. Cruisy, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. I do ask a tough one. Um, I think I've been told I look most similar to Jaws or James Bond. So probably, uh, <laughs> <laughs> probably, that, like, probably that one. Pens? No clue. Timberlake, go and see Timberlake playing. I think mean, Pens could be do, do, um, the next Home Alone film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. um, I'm a bit screwed, someone like Matt Dillon or someone like that.